So we've used the rules and permission we've created to actually differentiate the editor and the admin in the front end, but we've not done that in the back end. So what happens if this a particular user copy this route and actually paste it right here? Because this user is not allowed to view, I just refresh this. This is from the last video. So because this user particular user is not allowed to view permission and role and the user take a lucky guess and just get the name or the route and clicks enter the permission is still visible to this user so to actually prevent this from happening you need to use the middleware you can use the route middleware or the controller middleware to actually to actually check against this and to do that we need to first tell the Laravel that we want to use this specific uh, middlewares in our application and to do that we need to go back to the documentation and use it as a middleware now now the first thing we need to do is actually copy this middlewares um, we need to uh, now the first thing we need to now the first thing we need to do is actually register those middlewares so let's just copy this right here and go over to our kernel file I think it should be somewhere here yeah and we need to paste this right here in the route middleware and the route middleware so we need to paste that right here and just say yes so we have access to the middleware right now and we can just use it directly in our route and we can also use it in our controller and the best practice is actually to use it in your route because uh, for the controller you can have more than just a you can have because for the controller you can have more than you can have some method that you want to be visible to a user and you don't want it to be visible to another user so it all depends on you on how you do yours but so what i love to do is actually use it in the route so let's open our web.php file and right here right here we need to create a middleware and or we can just say assign a middleware to this so to do that let's just say middleware spot and we already have this middleware uh, this routes in the middleware already and uh, I don't want to put the middleware for this old route so I'm just going to create a route group separately now I'm just going to say middleware and this is going to be an array because i also want to use the route middleware and I was, uh, and this is going to be an array because i also want to use the odd middleware and right here i'll say row and the role will be equal to the admin so if you're having this problem for where this middleware comes from if you check the if you check the documentation, you see the role that you can just simply use it and specify the role right here. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And let's just do the copy this to right here. And let's just paste it right here. Now we have the 
grow middleware on this and if this user should refresh i think yeah it's getting a forbidden and a false both theory which is saying user does not have the right rules so hopefully this makes sense to you if it doesn't uh, read more i will always tell you to read more and practice it regularly and you will understand the logic behind this if you understand the logic behind this uh, writing the code is just going to be easy for you so uh if what if this user actually have the permission but doesn't have the goal to view the uh to view that page so um uh, laravel permission also provide that and we can come over here and say and that's where we use this middleware which says roles or permission so to do that i think uh we need to use this rule or permission so let's just copy this let's just copy that and say control sc and let's paste this right here so if this user has the role of an admin or has permission to create role so or has permission to create role so we're going to allow the user to actually use to actually use this controller if not we're not going to do that we're not going to allow the user so and uh, there's one thing i'm looking for what if the user are uh, not now multiple rules to permission um okay okay i don't think there's a way where we can actually use where we can actually use multiple roles uh multiple permission and uh that this is another and and this is another method you can use for the middleware you can actually use the can and just put the permission right here and uh, there is different ways you can actually use the roles and permission as a middleware so this is another method but we're focusing on this so um because i can't use multiple permission right here what i can do is i can just say copy this and just take this create permission just take it away and um, yeah so this should do the trick for now and this is going to work because i only have three permissions and uh, if you if you are working on a project and you have like 20 permissions i want to advise you to start creating roads so to just start creating routes for them and what you can actually do is use the permissions and just use the permissions direct like this and this will give you access to use multiple permissions so which is this which is this right here okay i think uh, we can just use this direct this makes sense this makes sense uh, yes but um uh, right here is just going to specify if the user has a role of an admin and the user has a permission to actually do this for example like this um uh, like this example for instance 
and uh, this is just going to allow the user if the user has a role of super admin and also has a permission of published articles and we don't actually want this this is not going to work for our instance this is still the best way we can do it this is still the best way we can do it and uh yeah so let's just say okay i think this should work too this should work rules of permission um yeah let's see if this should work let's see that and let's just say let's just remove this and say uh create permission and uh, let's just try to refresh and see hopefully we don't get any error okay we're not getting any error i think I just say permission not found yeah i think okay permission not found yeah rules i just bring permissions just say permissions let's refresh this and see forbidden so user does not have rules uh, does not have any of the necessary access rights so this actually makes sense i think this works and if we should go over and assign the go back to the user and assign the permission to the user so let's see wait for and let's refresh this yeah so we can see the the permission right now and this actually works so if you have more than just one okay let's try this we haven't actually tried it permission so let's just try this and see if it works i haven't tried this before and this is my first time of trying it too so let's just see and um, it works it works and uh, let's just remove the permission so let's see that we get a forbidden so this actually works and um, yeah so that's how you can do for the middleware and if you don't want to use it you don't want to use this in the route you can just let's just take this out and just copy this and put it right here you can just use it in the controller and in the controller what you can do is create a constructor uh, we already have a constructor right here and say this middleware is called to what um right here we can do the same thing out and right here we can say and we can say permission for the row you can say row or permission let's just do the same thing we did right here yeah so we can use it directly right here you see we still get the same result we still get the same result but for this we can actually do an accept and just say the method name which is index so accept the index so this is actually another thing i think you guys should know so this controller is going to use this middleware except this method so hopefully that makes sense to you but we don't want the accept so let's just refresh this page and we get 
user does not have the necessary access right and you can do some custom you can build a custom page for this error custom error page just create a folder in your resource folder in the view folder just create a folder name it error and create a file name it 43.play.php and actually do it and actually create the error page i think in the next video we we handle the error pages how to uh, show uh, how to create a custom error page because i don't like the way this uh this error is being displayed right here so i'll see you in next video guys so bye guys